you've probably tried so hard to keep a positive mindset during your trying to conceive journey. But no matter how hard you try to keep this positive mindset, there always is something that triggers you back down into that emotional spiral. And because of this, it feels like you can't get any momentum in your fertility journey and with every little trigger you get knocked back to square one. And if you could just figure out how to stay positive through all of those ups and downs, it would feel like you're actually making momentum on this journey. In this video, I am going to teach you the most potent mindset shift in order to break out of what I call the emotional trying to conceive roller coaster and actually work with your mind instead of against it in order to get pregnant faster. Hello love, welcome back, and if you're new here, my name is Stasha, and I teach an against the grain approach to increasing fertility from the inside out. So if that sounds like something that you wanna be a part of, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and join the movement. So this video is actually the first of a series of five different videos in my mindset series. And I'm about to give you the first mindset shift, which this alone will change the trajectory of your fertility journey forever. Now, the biggest mistake that I see most women make when they are trying to get pregnant is that they focus way too much on the outcome of getting pregnant. Now you might be thinking, duh, aren't we all trying to get pregnant here? But here's what happens when we put all of our focus, all of our pressure on that outcome of getting pregnant. The biggest thing is that if you don't get pregnant right away or as expected, which who really does anymore, then you're immediately going to start panicking and wondering if there is something wrong. And because we've been conditioned to search for answers and solutions outside of ourselves, this leads to always looking for things to do outside of you. Bouncing from one expert to the next, one strategy to the next, filling up your fertility to-do list with all of the things that you need to do in order to get pregnant. Until eventually you get so overwhelmed and so burnt out with all of the have-to-dos that then we start making it mean that we are a failure. And then we start telling ourselves things like, maybe I'm just not meant to be a mom. Maybe I don't deserve to have this happily ever after. Now, I've dedicated an entire module inside of my program, Holistic Fertility Method, where I show you exactly the steps on how to embody letting go of the outcome. But today in this video, I am going to give you that shift so that you can start embodying it today. So the major shift that we're going to make here is shifting your focus from just getting pregnant to instead shifting to the question, who am I becoming in this process? What version of me is happy and fulfilled and trusting and carrying her baby to term? What does she tell herself? What does she do every day in the morning? What does she do when she comes home from work? What kind of relationships does she have? How is her self-worth? What does she think about herself? These are the kinds of questions that will help you detach or become unattached rather to the outcome of getting pregnant and focus more on the inner work and who you are becoming in the process. Here's why this is so important. Think about a time when you really put yourself out there in order to reach a goal. Maybe you worked over time, maybe it was in school and you doubled down in order to get A's and you really tried and tried and tried so hard in order to get the thing at the end. Perfect example of this is if you're trying to lose weight. And if anyone here is lucky enough to have actually hit their goal weight number, you know that if you took strategies to get there that were depleting, that burnt you out, that didn't honor who you were, who you were as a person, you felt unfulfilled. You felt like this void at the end of your outcome, at the end of the goal. It wasn't worth it to you. This is exactly what happens when we approach our fertility journey in the same exact way. When we focus all of our energy on just getting pregnant, on that outcome, we miss who we are becoming in this journey. We miss the opportunity to cultivate who, do we, who we want to become as mothers in this journey. Not only that, but we also give our power away when we need something outside of ourselves in order to feel a certain way. For example, if you need to get pregnant in order to feel that relief or that trust in your body or that happiness and fulfillment or that connectedness with your partner and hope for a future family, then you are giving your power away to something outside of yourself. I'm not saying that getting pregnant is not going to help you feel happy and fulfilled. 
What I am saying is that needing the outcome in order to feel that way is what is disempowering you. And that is what creates the drastic emotional ups and downs that eventually rock you off your path and rock you off of your foundation. A perfect example of this is in my own fertility journey when I miscarried for the first time and it was completely unexpected because I thought these things happened to other people and not me. And it set me on a spiral because I was so attached to the outcome of getting pregnant, I wrapped up my entire self-worth in getting pregnant and having this baby. So when I miscarried and it didn't happen, I felt this incredible void within me. And this void was insatiable because I was trying to fulfill my worthiness and my happiness with something out of my control, something outside of me, instead of filling my own cup and feeling worthy and enough despite anything that was going to happen outside of my life. And because I was so attached to getting pregnant and I needed that to happen in order to feel okay and secure in who I was, I did everything from a place of fear, from a place of scarcity in order to try to get pregnant. I spent upwards of $6,000 on functional testing to figure out what was wrong with my body. I tracked my ovulation obsessively every single month and analyzed and was looking for anything that could be wrong or prove that I was unworthy. I got so mad and jealous when other people around me were getting pregnant because I felt like comparing myself, well, what do they have that I don't? And I was looking for ways that that I was inadequate or was lacking what they might have. And so you might be recognizing yourself within my story as well. And look, there's nothing shameful about this. We all need to go through this process to bring awareness to these subconscious patterns because that's all it is, my love. This unworthiness, this attachment to the outcome, it is all learned, it is all conditioning from our loving parents, from our broken society, and what is written can be rewritten. So please know that this is not a for sure definite thing that you can't ever change. This is a big thing that I help my clients uncover and process and release and rewrite new beliefs and new patterns that govern worthiness and enoughness and unattachment to that outcome so that they can actually trust themselves and enjoy this process to pregnancy instead of being riddled with anxiety, overwhelm, and self-doubt. Now, trust me, I know how frustrating this might be to hear, and it's so counterintuitive when you are trying to get pregnant, and it may even be a little bit triggering to hear me say, just let go of the outcome and everything will happen for you. That's definitely not what I'm promising today, but I do want you to know that I came from this exact same place and it's why I can speak to it such in depth. And I want you to know that this was the one thing when I could truly be unattached to the outcome, this was the one thing that shifted my nervous system from survival mode into fertile mode at a cellular level. So not only was my mental and emotional experience so much better during this journey, but my physiology, my fertility, my hormones were balancing, my PCOS was clearing up, my adrenal fatigue was healing, and even my egg quality was improving, and the cycle regularity and my ovulation was all improving, and I didn't have to micromanage any of it because I was healing from the inside out. And that's why these mindset shifts are so incredibly powerful because when you can leverage the mind-body connection, it's almost like we take over the control center of our body, of our fertility, and we program in optimal fertility without having to obsess about tracking our cycle and take all of these supplements and get all of these tests and do all of these unnecessary treatments in order to force the body to get pregnant. Instead, we listen to what the body needs from a mind-body level and we give the body what it needs in order to fulfill exactly what it was designed to do, which was create life. Now, there's quite a lot to do behind the scenes in order to truly embody this surrender and let go and unattach from the outcome, but hoping that you can try this on for yourself, this shift, see how it feels 
on this journey and with just a tiny little shift in perspective, how things are going to change, how you're going to feel lighter and more at ease and trust in the timing and of this and in your body. It is so worth it, my love, because getting pregnant doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to feel like an uphill battle because when we can reprogram our beliefs about what it takes to get pregnant, that's when everything changes for you. So now that you have the first mindset shift, be sure to click onto the next video linked here onto the side of the screen so that you can understand how to come home to yourself, make that second shift without having to sacrifice who you are anymore and just gonna allow you to get pregnant even faster. All right, I'll see you there.